Oh, um, another podcast. I'd never heard of it before, but the production <laughs> value was high. Uh-huh. They did a story on swatting, and the start of it was totally about me. They hmm, interviewed yeah. the nice. Apex SWAT department, which is the town I live in for now anyway. Mm-hmm. And um, it was neat. I got to hear the SWAT story told from their side, right? So um, to tell my side and fast forward. Mm. This isn't going to go well tonight. Because <laughs> um, I want to cover some of the discrepancies. On my side, basically, they they hid in the yard for 90 minutes or something. Uh, they saw, like, someone get up, go to the bathroom. Um, and they said that wasn't typical hostage behavior. And they kind of knew it was a prank before things got started, etc. cetera. And um, uh, when they knocked on the door, I came down with a shotgun. Or I think it was actually a, a pistol, but whatever it was. And um, I don't remember. But I came down the door with a gun and they told me to put it down and whatever. When they told the story, they didn't know it was a prank when they knocked on the door. They had no idea. They said that this thing seemed urgent to them. And they were going into that thinking that they were probably going to kill someone tonight. Our area's most tense swatting incident happened at this house in Apex in the middle of the night. The head of the Apex SWAT team and the homeowner, Woody Woodworth, told WRL Investigates what unfolded. Someone had called the SWAT team and said that I had murdered my wife and I had murdered a kid and that I was going to murder her too if they didn't get there fast. My wife is like, Woody, there's, there's people hiding in the yard. I didn't know it, but the SWAT team is casing my house. They're, they're just sort of you know, looking inside to, to get a feel for what's going on. Now, you didn't know that, but what were you thinking when you saw that? <sighs> that there was eight bad guys coming down on my house for reasons I didn't understand. We I go to my closet and I grab a shotgun. And he comes to the top of the stairs with a gun in his hand, as a lot of homeowners would do in the middle of the night when someone's banging on their front door. As I head down the stairs, they yell, like this time they approach the front door and they yell, put the gun down. And I was like, who the heck are you? But I didn't say heck. This- like that was their mindset. And, uh, and, and they, they're just, you know, it was, it was urgent. We were there. We would case the place or whatever. And, and um, in their headspace, it was all like, you know, like, this is a big event. And tonight's a night that you're probably going to kill someone. That's what they said in, in their mm-hmm. podcast. And, and they, did, they interviewed like some detective from the, uh, from the local police department you know, that was at the SWAT. He was there that night. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, <laughs> What turned it all around is when they told me to put the gun down, I did. <clears throat> and uh, according to their side of the story, in my head, I asked them who they were before they, I, I put it down. But anyway, um, and they're like, and that's when everything changed. They're like, huh? And then they, they said I looked really confused. And my wife was there, still alive, also looking really confused. <laughs> <laughs> the kids were asleep in bed, which they didn't know, but like, you know, they, they soon found out. Right. And uh, they basically, they just didn't walk in on the scene they expected to at all. And it was like, wow, dude. So like, like, I didn't, when they talked to me, they were like, yeah, someone went up, went to the bathroom, went back to bed. That wasn't typical hostage behavior. So we, you know, we kind of knew it was fake all along. When they did the podcast interview, they were like, we were, we were fully prepared to kill somebody. They almost killed me over the swatting. Yeah, thing. Would have yeah. Been. yeah that would have been bad. Yeah. And swatting was new. Like I, I didn't really know about swatting. It had I happened. I think you popped the cherry for it. It, 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 it had happened to one other guy before me. Um, mm. But like, I, I guess I didn't even put two and two together that like we had both experienced the same thing. Now swatting is so prevalent that like everyone sort of knows what's going on at the start, et cetera. You made it mainstream. You were into it before it was cool. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hipster yeah, swatter. Kind of a hipster swat victim. <laughs> <laughs> but um. But yeah, so I had no idea. As a matter of fact, I didn't even associate it with my YouTube channel until my whole family and I were sitting out on the curb in our pajamas, kind of, you know, like, ah, I bet, you know, it was a fan, you know, because part we were just confused about the whole thing. And that's how it went down. I forget. Were you getting pizzas before that? And then I they think like so. escalated to swatting? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, there was a time when I was getting, like, pizzas was kind of the most common thing, but they were sending cabs to my house, Chinese <laughs> food to my house, um, like all kinds of stuff. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Um, of course, the SWAT team to my house. Even now, if someone swats me, the um, the police just call ahead, you know, like, yo, Woody, everything all right yeah. there? Yeah. 
it's easier to phone call than waste all that money and resources. One of these days, though, when he's going <laughs> to fucking snap. He's gonna snap. <laughs> the whole family's gone. He's next door with a chainsaw just cutting people in half. And like blood the all over him. No they get a phone call. This, uh, what he's getting to take, guys? He's, he's lost. He's got a fucking chainsaw <laughs> in the back. Just, <laughs> like, these kids. And, and they're just like, <laughs> um, those fucking kids, man. They do one. They're getting good. Don't <laughs> call me. I'll be as cool as a cucumber. Nah, bro, we're good. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I was no, playing, no. Uh, <laughs> lollipop chainsaw. It escalated. People on the stream. They're just yeah. being dicks. You well, have yeah, a good night, the too, chainsaw. Officer. Pay no attention to the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big whacker. Go back to bed. <laughs> I'm doing yard work on stream. It's okay. Calm down. <laughs>